Getting the message virtualization based security is required by FaceTime AC and is currently disabled. Don't worry. In this video, I'll show you how to turn VBS on the right way so FaceTime AC can start without any issues. Step 1 to check if TPM is already enabled B for changing BIOS settings, press Windows Plus or type TPM.msc press enter you'll see one of two results. TPM is available and enabled gives you're done. B site should now detect it. TPM is not found or compatible TPM not detected gives continue to. Step 2. Step 2 restart and enter BIOS click start gives power gives restart as the PC restarts. Press the BIOS key depends on your motherboard. Dell or F to gives most PC SF10 F1 to gives some laptops S gives HP F1 gives Lenovo. If you need, tell me your motherboard or laptop model and I'll give the exact key. Step 3 Enable security device support some BIOS versions high TPM behind this switch. Look for security device support equals enables and you should see DPM to 0.0 appear below it. Step for save and exit BIOS per SF10 or select save and exit gives yes your PC will reboot. Step 5 Confirm TPM to 0.0 is enabled and some Windows. Press Windows Plus or type TPM.msc press enter you should now see status. The TPM is ready for use specification version 2.0. Step 6 Restart the seat open FaceSite gives logs and gives it should no longer show the TPM error. If FaceTime AC is still asking for VBS after you turned it on, check the in-screen video for more fixes. Thanks for watching. If this helped, hit like, drop your specs in the comments, and subscribe for more PC fix guides.